I'm Noelle and welcome to the second attempt at me trying to do YouTube consistently because it didn't quite work out the first time so we're trying it again and I've got a cup of joe here I'm just kidding there's nothing in it I'm just gonna hold it because it's very cute it needs to be in this video so today um, we're gonna do the accent challenge but um, I don't know how to do it, so Google has helped me find some questions and a list of words to pronounce for you. And that's what we're doing today. So these questions are random. I did not come up with them. This is from PRI.org. I don't know. I'm 26 and I'm from Texas. I grew up in the Dallas area, currently in San Antonio. So I grew up in Texas. And I often visited the Panhandle area because that's where my extended family is from. So question one, what is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? TP. I want to TP a house. Um, yeah. I don't think I've ever done it, but I knew kids in high school who did it. Please don't do that. What is the bug that when you touch it, it curls into a ball? That one's called a roly-poly. What else is he called? Because they look like little armadillos, but um, he's not an armadillo. He is called a roly-poly, and he's super cute. Um, number three, what is the bubbly carbonated drink called? Um, what? What is the bubbly carbonated drink called? What do you mean? There are many bubbly carbonated drinks, like soda. I call it soda. That's what I call it. Um, number four, what do you call gym shoes? Tennis shoes? Yeah, I call them tennis shoes. Some people call them sneakers. Like, I guess if you're distinguishing between two different types of closed-toed shoes, I would call them sneakers, but generally they're called tennis shoes. What do you say to address a group of people? Like, so I'm a photographer, and if I'm trying to command attention to a bunch of people who won't be quiet, I say, okay, everybody, listen to me. That's what I would say. Um, but if you're asking if I say y'all, yes, I do. I do say y'all. You all, y'all, just makes sense. Um, number six, what do you call that kind of spider or spider-like creature that has an oval-shaped body and extremely long legs? His name is Daddy Long Legs and he is not welcome in my house. And what do you call your grandparents? Well, I've only ever had, um, in my time, a grandmother, and I called her Mamo because that was her nickname, so we never, we never had a Mimi or anything. But my cousin's grandparents are called Mima and Papa, um, and then my cousin's parents are called Mimi and Popo. What do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket? <laughs> Wheeled contraption. <laughs> I'm gonna call it that from now on. That's funny. Um, grocery cart. A cart. Yeah, uh, the cart. That's what it's called. Number nine, do you call, what do you call it when rain falls while the sun is shining? I don't know. A meat cute? Is there a name for that? When the rain falls and the sun is shining. I call that most storms in Texas. It's hot here. Number 10. What is the thing you change the TV channel with? A remote control. Or just remote. Remote. What else is it called? What do you guys call it? Remote? Isn't that like the general name for it? Oh, hey, so those are all the questions. Wasn't that fun? Okay, so we're gonna go back 
and find the words. Um, how about I just read them off to you like I'm reading you a story because that is fun. All right, we're just gonna go for it. All right, the first one is aunt, like my Aunt Joellen. Roof, like the top of your house. Route, wash, theater, iron, salmon, caramel. You people who say caramel are really fancy and I wish I said caramel. Maybe I just will start saying caramel. Um, fire, water, sure. Data, or data. What do I say? Does anybody else like interchange how they pronounce things? Because I definitely do. Data, data. Data, I think is what I say. Ruin, crayon, New Orleans. All right, this one's like the most controversial word. It's, oh no, now I have to remember how I pronounce it. Again, probably <laughs> spit an image. <laughs> I had to. I'm from Texas. Spitting image. Um, Alabama lawyer. Coupon. Mayonnaise. Syrup. Pajamas. Cot. Naturally. Aluminum. Envelope. Like these words sound normal to me and. This isn't weird at all. So if anyone out there is listening to this, it's telling me how you pronounce things, if you can type such a thing, because I, I would like to know. I love listening to English people's accents. That's like my favorite accent. And when they say aluminium, I'm like, what, what? That's awesome. I've never heard aluminium until I discovered YouTube. Oh, okay. This part of this quiz says, choose a book and read a passage from it. What a good idea. Thank you, internet. So I'm going to read you a story from the life-changing magic of tidying up. My basic principle for sorting papers is to throw them away. My clients are stunned when I say this, but there is nothing more annoying than papers. After all, they will never inspire joy, no matter how carefully you, you keep them. For this reason, I recommend you dispose of anything that does not fall into one of th three categories. Currently in use, needed for a limited period of time, or must be kept indefinitely. Do you think you have an accent? No. But what do you think? You tell me. You will probably hear something that I don't. Alright, so that's it. That is the accent challenge. Um, that was interesting. And I think I learned a few things about myself, like... Um, like, I pronounce things multiple ways. <laughs> Does anybody else pronounce things different ways? Like, in different conversations? Let me know if you do, because I definitely do, and I don't know what's wrong with me. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked this video, because I had fun making it. The end. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>